What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Stormy Wellington in the click today, you guys, for the first time. Now, click, before we even start this video, I definitely want to let it be known that I used to watch Stormy Wellington because I really love the type of message that she will put out. But I'ma keep it 100% real. After seeing this last video of, of her really having a conversation with one of her clients that she coached about a plate of food, I was like literally gagging on the floor. Considering the fact that she literally had the same food on her plate, she just didn't have a damn hot dog, a hamburger, and some macaroni salad. Now sis, it is not that serious. Like, like, first of all, I got so much to really talk about because y'all already know I'm a BB dub and I don't play about my food and I don't play about people trying to, you know, judge somebody off their plate of food. She also said that she's a hood rat. Like, her plate is royalty and her plate is a hood rat plate. All right. So, I want y'all to take a look and then we're going to talk about it. Y'all already know I make my reservations. Y'all know we most definitely going to talk about it. Take a look. They put this on my plate. I will not. They, no, I don't do what they do. I do what I do. Mm. I'm a visionary. I believe it. But she's I would coach. never eat a plate that looks like this. You mm. could pay me a million dollars to do that to myself. Mm. Oh my God. And it comes through better than that. That's mm. low vibration. And you took it. I would have been like, I'm playing like that. I'll tell you what I want. You don't tell me what I want. So my thought process is if you can put it on my plate, but I don't have to eat it. I got the distance. I won't even look at it and look that make you look bad. I'm a queen. Queen's plate when you like. Mm. If, I, if we said two plates, we play together. And so who's royalty? They would say this person. Mm. I agree. That's a <laughs> this is so serious though. Yeah, because it's a lot of people that just let people give them what they want them to have, mm -hmm. and they accept mm -hmm. it. And Storm is teaching me right now. Yeah, yeah. Cold Storm is teaching me don't accept what they put on your. Mm. Shut up, bitch. Now, first things first, the way that she is delivering this message is just not okay to me. And furthermore, the females around her is like, um, yeah, wow. Girl, this woman knew damn well she wanted that food on her plate. Because you gotta go in a line and the person's gonna be like, you want this, you want that. Just like Stormy said, I don't let people put, I tell them what the, you knew that your ass wanted that damn hamburger and hot dog. That's how you eat when you are not around Stormy. Because 90% of the time, no dish respect to females who got their body done but i'ma keep it a stizzy stormy wellington got her body done it's clear as day you could definitely see it down to the stomach the breast to the butt stop playing the woman inside the video definitely have her body done you could tell you could just tell when certain females got their body done now it's nothing against anybody who got their body done but i'm pretty sure shorty definitely eat like that not around stormy because you're gonna blame it on the people putting the food on the plate but the point that i'm trying to make is who the f do Stormy think she is to tell the girl that her plate is a hood rat plate and her plate is royalty when sis you got two barbecue wings and a corn if you really that real serious about eating healthy and being fit you should have had a piece of grass and tree bark on your plate and then you could start talking but the reason why I brought up their body getting done is because a lot of females nowadays on social media is promoting fitness as if their body was naturally like that as if they really worked real hard to keep their body so intact the way that it is now i get the message if you trying to tell your client like yo listen don't put too much food on your plate because if you trying to eat healthy or you trying to minimize your proportions then that wouldn't be a good idea that's different but to tell her that her plate is a hood rat and all this other stuff sis you got that stomach snatched you didn't go to the gym and make sure your stomach was snatched clearly you could tell them buns in the back is fake so i'm not even trying to be on no real body shaming because that's not me i'm not on that type of time but let's keep it real like let's be humble let's be real and that, and, and to be fair she is promoting another company so she's very wealthy she's promoting the tlc like i see a lot of other influencers do and that tlc did not make your body your titties sit up it didn't make that booty cheek sit up and it damn sure ain't make them motherfucking legs touch so it's like i gotta stop this like you can't be don't be coaching people i don't like that i think her 
deliverance was absolutely tacky. Now, I understand that life coaches or, you know, weight loss coaches and stuff like that is, is not supposed to be 100% easy on you because you have to light the fire underneath somebody. But just to call somebody plate a hood rat and yours is royalty is just looking down. Like, I just, I just didn't like that vibe at all. Now, y'all let me know what y'all feel about that in the comments below. I'd really love to know your thoughts. But I definitely want to play the clip of Young Miami mimicking her. I would never eat a plate that looked like that. But they put this on my plate. I don't do what they do. I do what I do. Mm -hmm. I would never eat a plate that looked like that. Mm. That is low vibrations. That's a hood rat plate. This word to you. You put these two plates together, they're going to say this word to you. You're right. I wouldn't do that to myself. Ooh. I wouldn't let them do that to me. And what my coach is telling me right now is not to let everybody put what they want on my plate. You deserve better than that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that click was definitely hilarious. Now, Stormy Wellington actually reposted this video and her caption was, viral at Young Miami 1, period. She got me down. Got the world paying attention to their plates as they should. Hashtag high vibrations. Yeah, please. <laughs> the fact that she thought that Young Miami was on her side, like, girl, goodbye. She was just making fun of the fact that she had the same thing that her friend had in the video. But go off, though. But next in the click, we got Madonna in the click today you guys for the first time now click social media is going crazy since madonna came out by saying that she's gay if she missed the shot with her pink panties going into the trash can in her bathroom y'all take a look no that's right <laughs> Well, it's never too late to come out. Y'all let me know what y'all feel about that in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Blueface and Rock back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like the trailer just dropped from Zeus Network. Now, I can't show it on here, but I'm definitely going to show you guys on my Instagram. But what I will tell you is everybody is not here for it. They're very upset. Because in this caption, it says, it's us against the world. Get ready to see at Blueface and me. Hashtag crazy and love on your TV screens coming soon. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, whether you guys like it or not, it's happening. Get your damn subscriptions if you want to watch this train wreck. If you don't, keep it pushing. I mean, Click, honestly speaking, I've been talking about them since they started the filming. So it's basically, y'all are going to see exactly what we've been talking about on this blog. Let's just keep it straight. It's just dead, completely, extremely exhausting talking about these two. I'm not even going to sit here and lie. One person said, Krishan, I was rooting for you. I thought you was done. <laughs> Hilarious. Another person said, laughing my A.O., we knew this was coming. I'm paying for Zeus now. Definitely finna unfollow you now. I thought y'all broke up. She ain't going nowhere, oh, The ghetto. The ghetto. I'm just not ready for all of this. It's just... <sighs> Anywho, click, it's not much for me to say. Y'all already know how I feel about Zeus Network. Y'all know how I feel about the whole Blue Face and Rock show. Ew. It's just given. Next in the click, we got Nicki Minaj back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like she actually just landed a new Call of Duty deal. Now, the commercial just aired today. She posted it with this caption. Pull up with the barb, superheroes, no capes. That's what she said. <laughs> Not be trying to rap that line. It was very much so catchy. And this is the deal that Cardi B actually was talking about when she said, my stupid decisions from the past caused me to miss out on money now. I had a multi-million dollar Call of Duty deal on the table that I couldn't take because of court. Guys, think twice about those quick decisions, lesson learned. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Now, everybody know I love me some body, but, but let's not play no games and act like you wasn't just in high bridge waiting for Malibu Mitch to pull up. Talking about stupid decisions from the past, you was just getting ready to go back to the past. I mean, fighting is what caused you to lose multi-millions. You wasn't thinking about that then. Like, we got to get it together now. Now, one of the fan pages said, nah, I need at Call of Duty to renegotiate the deal. Imagine Cardi as a character that would be so fire. Cardi said I couldn't make it because, of course, a couple weeks ago, I wasn't able to do the shoot on time. I mean, from that tweet click, it seemed like they must have gave her a second chance, but she still couldn't be able to make it because of the decision that she made in having to attend court. Anywho, she let us know because she probably knew that they gave Nikki that damn deal and she wanted to let it be known that they hit me up first. That's how I feel. Anywho, congratulations to Nicki Minaj on landing this multi-million dollar deal. This is actually really great. God bless everybody that was in that damn commercial because I wish I was a damn action figure. I ain't gonna lie. 
lie. Like somebody go like, can Call of Duty give me a um a deal, please. I need I need multi millions. I'm so mad at Cardi. You fumbled the bag and Nikki picked it up. Both of y'all could have been winning. You gotta keep doing the right thing. Everybody can't be always wanting to be a fighter. After a while, you gotta put them gloves down. What I will say is that Nikki is really smart when it comes to this beef is because she got them damn minions. Yo, y'all don't know how bad I'm cracking up while I'm recording this. I swear after that last line. Anywho, y'all already know what it is. On the road to 100k. If you guys haven't already subscribed, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. I, I I really dislike my husband right now. He making me laugh while I'm doing it. Anyways, because he like older oh, bobs. Listen, like I said, I don't take sides, but I'm gonna keep it real on this channel. Anywho, y'all smash that like button and definitely subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, personal channel, and my Instagram. I love you guys. I see you guys in the next upload. Bye!